Yes, ladies and gentlemen, maybe you expected a very tall woman now. <laughs> I'm not. But I think this is something we all have in common as women. We are strong inside. We don't have to be big because everybody would be frightened of us. We have the privilege to be quite sometimes tiny or not so big. And we can do what we think is right and everybody is happy about it. The Women's Federation for World Peace is in 140 countries. And I really can say with pride that the Filipino chapter is one of the biggest and most active ones. And it is due to all of you because I, through my dear friend Merle Blaschke Sequila, she sits here also with us, we really got more contact to you. Also in my work, I was working together with Filipino colleagues and it was also always very inspirational. You are always bright, shiny, positive, despite all kinds of difficulties that life brings with us brings with it itself. And the Women's Federation is actually not only for the women, so I'm very happy that we are not only women here, that we are together with our friends, brothers, some of you have their husbands here, or maybe sons. So, because this world belongs to both of us, the Women's Federation was founded of, from, by a woman, Mother Moon, Mother of Peace, but she was supported greatly by her husband, who said, the time has come when really the women have to come forward because they have something as mothers and with this female aspect and female mindset, we can solve so many problems. We, because we try not to get to big problems. So when something arises, we try to solve it. When we think of our families, when our children are fighting, we don't wait until the fight is really uh, big or great. We say, okay, what's, what's going on? Come and listen to each other, like Mari said so nicely. We listen to each other and um, try to understand and then we can solve it and we can try to learn how to talk. I can express when I'm angry, I can express when I'm disappointed, it's okay. But I don't have to use any weapons to defend myself. And as Women Federation we really are guided by this vision also by, from our founders that this world is a family. And I was thinking, when I was thinking what shall I say today in three minutes, I thought the biggest thing is to still always think our Creator created us to be one family. Of course we grew up in different places. We grew up in some in Africa, some in Philippines, some in Austria and other countries with other surroundings, but the basic thing, we are the same. We are so happy to be together. We are so happy to share about our families, to share about our children. When our children are thriving, we are, great, we are happy and grateful. When our families are working, we are happy and grateful. It's completely independent from our skin color or color of hair. It's no, pro no problem. Even the scientists some years ago, I remember the last speech when our founder, Father Moon, was talking when he was 91 years old in Germany. He came up on the stage and he said, Why are these 10 people quarreling? The scientists found out it is only nine others. It is, we are the same 99 point 95%. So what is the difference among each one of us? It's no difference. And uh, I've been working with all people. I'm trying to vision what is this world? What can this world? How can we vision this world? And then I thought the old people, they were saying, I was born in this district in Vienna. And the other one was born in another district. I said, okay, I don't even think about which district I'm born. So then I thought maybe we should envision this world to be one nation. And the nations, the countries are districts. And we have to take care of our districts. And it's nice to visit each other. Actually, I really would like to visit the Philippines. And I get so much of your culture here in Austria and always appreciate very much. That we can think about, like, you know, there's differences, but we are connected. And of course, we have to take care of my, I have to take care of my garden if I have a garden. And then I can help the neighbor to take care of his or her garden. We can take care of each other. And each country has specialities of plants, of fruits, of metals, things that are important for the others as well, but we don't have it equally, so we have to share. I give you my apples and you give me cherries or the potatoes, and share it and look. I think when we, the mindset to help each other, to help that everybody can thrive. So I think we are in a special time also because we can be so connected. And I realized the heavy time of Corona, we learned to deal with Zoom, with much more, maybe uh, some of you knew before, this com communication and internet. We as women, I myself especially, I just like to be with people. I was therapist, so I was always working with people one-to-one, -one, very intensely. 
and I liked this very much. But we learned to give a Zoom, and all of a sudden I saw my colleagues. I could talk with Philippine colleagues, I could talk with Philippines in Kenya, with colleagues in Kenya, with Mali. I was like, oh, yeah. oh, we got so close to each other. So it helps to connect and I think to look into each other's eyes and to always remember we are brothers and sisters, we are cousins. And to spread this mindset. This is our, this we see of one of our goals as Women Federation. We had actually in this building, we had about nine conferences, eight conferences on education. But it was more the education of mindset. This is not only education for children, it's also education for each one of us. So. I thank you very much that you invited me. Thank you, Marcel. Thank you. He's always thinking of us and that we can cooperate in the future well as well. So I'm so, I took over the time. Thank you very much and wish you a very successful day.